Halloween candy and snacks have started to hit stores. Let's test them out. Starting off with the candy, specifically the Reese's Werewolf Tracks. I thought we had these last year, but everything that I'm reading online says that they're new for 2024. So I think I may be making that up. I'm not too fond of like vanilla cream or white chocolate things. So that's why I was thinking, oh, this came out last year and I didn't try it because I didn't think I was I would like it. But it's new Halloween candy, so I have to try it this year. It's just too fun not to. And it's a freaking werewolf. Like, what's not to love? It says it is the classic milk chocolate with vanilla flavored cream on top that you can see there with the little werewolf hand. That's what it looks like. It is very adorable. I just know I'm not going to be a big fan. My husband is a huge fan of like white chocolate or vanilla cream flavored stuff. I'm much more of like a bitter person. I like dark chocolate, coffee, definitely more up his alley. But here's a closer look for the taste test. <laughs> Very creamy, dreamy. Definitely adds some sweetness and creaminess to a Reese's that isn't normally there. So if you're looking for something like that, this would be perfect for you. It is just way too sweet for me. So I don't think I'll probably even eat another bite. I do appreciate having something new for Halloween 2024 in regards to Reese's. Next up is the Kit Kat Ghost Toast flavor. I was so excited about this that I tried it as soon as I got it. So I have already tried this in my car in the heat of summer it was melting in my hand but i've learned a little bit more information about this since posting that original taste test video it does look like these are going to come in like a size that you can share and give away to trick-or-treaters not just this big Kit Kat bar. From the research that I did online, it seems like this might be one of the first years that they've done these special flavors in an actual big four bar format. Seems like in years past it was just the bags and I remember that because there's like that witch marshmallow cream one that they did and that was only exclusively in the bag, which I never really thought about until they came out with this this year. So, you know, it is. <laughs> So beautifully orange. The product photo on the front here does not do this orange justice. It is so beautifully orange, so much darker than it is on the cover here. It smells like walking into a Cinnabon. It's very cinnamony. It's the perfect balance of like creamy vanilla sweetness, like this outer coating with the cinnamon on the inside. And I feel like perfect for Halloween because that cinnamon always, you know, cinnamon, pumpkin pie, it all starts coming around in the fall. I know they're made by the same company, but it blows the Reese's like out of the water. This is so much better. I really love, you know, having a werewolf on the packaging. It's reminiscent of like universal monsters and stuff, but this ghost is adorable and he tastes delicious. And on to the heavy hitters, we have the Beetlejuice Keebler Fudge Stripes, which I am so excited for. Not only am I excited for this movie, but I am excited for the dark chocolate cookies. Dark chocolate is my jam. I recently tried the Despicable Me Rocky Road ones and I thought the chocolate would be good in that and it was not good at all. So I'm hoping that this will be better. Yeah, they're not as dark. It was like that with the Rocky Road. They're not as dark as the picture. It looks darker on camera. And I'm a little hesitant about that white chocolate or vanilla cream that they have on there. But there's a close look. Yeah, that is exactly what I'm wanting. That is the perfect amount of like bitter chocolate flavor that I want to counteract that vanilla cream on there. So much better than the Rocky Road. There is a QR code on here. So let's check that out. You have to say Beetlejuice three times and it'll let you in and show you some recipes for these cookies. The website is openformagic.com if you want to check it out. But here's the recipes. These fudge stripe beetles have like licorice legs, some icing and like a peanut butter cup on top. 
These shrunken heads are pretty cute, but I'm wondering if you have to hand make these yourself. Uh, the shrunken head is made out of mascarpone and like white chocolate and dye, so it would be intensive heavy work, but they're super cute and might be worth it. There is a model parfait cemetery, which looks to be like a dirt pudding, which reminds me I recently bought the mini verse Beetlejuice stuff for Halloween and there was like a dirt pudding cup for that that was so adorable. There is the ghost with the most. He looks like the easiest one to make potentially. It looks like there is oh it's ice cream. I thought there was icing but it's ice cream and then like sour worms and stuff. It's super cute. And his hair is green cotton candy. The last one is the sandworm orange sickle dirt cup. This is creative to me. I don't know why I love it so much but they like broke the cookies in half and made it look like a little sandworm. <laughs> They gave it a little eyeball and everything. If it wouldn't be so expensive, I would buy the ingredients and try and make all of these, but um, it's pretty intensive stuff to make these. <laughs> For the last item, we have the Wednesday Cookies and Cream Cereal from Kellogg's. I am not a cereal expert, so you'll have to ask like Dinosaur Dracula if there's ever been a Cookies and Cream Cereal, but Cookies and Cream Cereal, I feel like that's unique and never been done before, but what do I know? And I guess Oreo has done cereals, so I guess it's not as innovative as I thought. The back here looks like it has some games, and believe it or not, I have yet to see the show, so I'm not gonna be very good at playing the game on the back of here. Let's test it out. Ooh, not a lot of marshmallows. I guess they're kind of down there a little bit. <laughs> and that smells really good. Interesting. It looks like uh, the outside is like coated in like a Oreo cookie and the inside is like a lighter brown color. Very interesting. That's a weird flavor. It almost tastes burnt. Very deep dark chocolate flavor. It kind of reminds me of Cocoa Puffs, but like a darker chocolate version of that. This cereal was made for me, like that bitter chocolate flavor is so good, but I could see it not being for everybody. Like I said previously, like my husband likes really sweet stuff. He's not into dark chocolate and he would not like this or appreciate it, but if you love coffee, if you love dark chocolate, this is a win in my book. Especially if you get a little marshmallow in there. It tastes burnt and it almost looks like it's burnt. Out of everything, I think the Wednesday cookies and cream cereal is going to be my favorite. It was the most unexpected as far as flavor goes and I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the fudge stripes for the QR code going online and seeing the recipes. But I'd say my... <laughs> My number two is Ghost Toast. He's just too cute. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween season. If you're interested in handmade wax melts, check out hassawaxmelts.com. Bye.